This may have been a good one to chase on. The ball was near the line, and the outfielder had to dive for the ball. However, we need to point out that this would only be a chase if the third base umpire started on the third baseline. If it had been a two-person crew, no one should chase on this. Or if in a three-person crew, the third base umpire was rotated over near second base, she should not chase on this. But it's a real good one to chase on if the third base umpire started on the line. Take another look at the play to see if you agree. Most people would probably consider this a can of corn. And on cans of corn, we do not want you to chase. However, maybe the sun was in the outfielder's eyes. There are some shadows out there, and that is a possibility. Or maybe it was a windy day that had been causing trouble throughout the day. But for the most part, this would probably be considered a can of corn, and you would not choose to chase on this one. Watch it a second time, please. This is one that would probably be a tough call for the plate umpire. It's near the fence. Two fielders are chasing it. They end up hitting the fence. If it had not been caught, we would want someone out there to determine whether the ball had hit in front of the fence and bounced over, or if it landed over the fence and maybe bounced back. There are just all kinds of different possibilities. So again, when you watch this the second time, Notice that's near the fence. This is probably a ball that you do not have to chase on. This ball was so far over the fence that it was probably obvious right at the crack of the bat. However, maybe this was late in the game, and throughout the game the wind had been blowing in from left field, causing some other balls that appeared to be home runs to stay within the field. But for the most case, this is probably one that you would not need to chase on. Watch it a second time, please. Here's one that probably whatever you decide is right. It could be either. Some of you may have thought of this as a can of corn. And if you thought this was a can of corn, okay. But maybe some of you noticed that the sun was shining quite brightly. The center fielder was wearing sunglasses, and there even appears to be a little bit of a reflection in the sunglasses. And she is coming into the blooper zone. So those of you that felt that this would be a good one to chase on, are probably right. Again, either one is fine, but if you're going to err, it's better to err by chasing on one that you didn't need to than to not chase on one that you wish you had. Watch it a second time and see if you can see what we were talking about.
This looks like a regular ordinary can of corn. The outfielder didn't move very far and was right under it. So most of the time, this would not be a chase situation. Again, as we mentioned before, if it was a sunny day or if the wind was blowing, you may want to reconsider. But on the non-sunny, non-windy day, most likely you would not choose to chase on this ball. Wow, there sure was a lot of action on that one. And certainly a play that could have been a tough call for the plate umpire. The ball was in the blooper zone. We had two fielders going at it. The one outfielder dove for the ball. And they crashed into each other. Lots of things happening here and definitely a play you need to chase on. When we replay it, look at all the action that could have happened. Well, hopefully these film clips help bring together some of the things we were trying to bring to your attention during the PowerPoint. We wish you well. Have a successful season. Thank you.